when conducting a competitive analysis for marketing purposes, follow these clear steps. Number one, identify your competitors. Start by listing your main competitors. Consider not only direct competitors, but also indirect ones. Those who offer similar solutions or target the same audience differently. Provide a short description of who they are, including their website links in a resources section for easy access. Next, turn each competitor into a tag using their name and optionally add their logos to help visualize them. The goal is to prepare for comparison based on specific metrics. Now compare competitors based on two key factors, pricing and benefits offered. Competitors who offer more benefits should be placed higher in the matrix, while those who offer fewer benefits will be lower. Similarly, those with higher pricing go to the right, and those with lower pricing move to the left. This will help identify which competitors lead the industry, often those that don't compete solely on price but provide more value. Keep in mind that this varies by industry. In some sectors, price-driven competition may mean that leaders have reduced costs through automation while still offering solid benefits. Next, assess your position. Once your competitors are placed on the matrix, add your own logo. This will help you understand your current position in the market. Reflect on where you want to be, whether you aim to lead, follow, or innovate. Explain your vision and describe your brand's current market position directly below the matrix. Next, select a competitor for detailed analysis. Choose one competitor to analyze in depth, ideally a direct competitor targeting the same market share. Spend time evaluating their strategies across key areas. For example, define the branding strategy. What is their brand promising? Is it trusted in the industry? Who is their target market? Add a short description here. Keep all links and references inside the resources section. Then move to the value proposition section. Based on their website, social media, and press releases, what are they claiming as their unique value? How do they differentiate themselves from you and others? Why would customers choose them over you? Next, the content strategy. How frequently do they produce content? Do they have a blog? What type of content do they create? Continue and go over each section. Add additional ones if needed. To finalize, evaluate and formulate your strategy. Gather all this information to evaluate how you can become more competitive, reflect on the following and ask yourself, what can you do differently? What should you stop doing? Where can you get a better return on investment? What strategies are working for your competitors that could work for you? What should you avoid? How can you better communicate your offerings and reach your target market? What is your strategy to outperform this specific competitor? Now, the most important part is to define a growth strategy and action plan. Add your observations and strategy inside the conclusion section. Discuss these insights with your team and add your conclusions, along with links to a clear action plan that outlines next steps for improving your market position. Remember, this frameworks can guide you through the process, but the goal is to define the strategy, keeping in mind what your competitors are doing and what you can do to win.